Welcome to Scanny TV on YouTube once again. Let's see the latest update coming in from the camp of Blockstars team, Blockstars players, Ghana Black Satellites, and some few other updates we need to know. In this one, we will talk about Ghana under 20. We have the Chan tournament to play next month, and we will check out the draw as it was held today. Ghana, which countries are we going to face? Well, we will talk a little bit about that. Coach Desmond Affair has also spoken. We will take it in this particular update. Then today, some Blackstars players, they were in action in the UEFA Europa League match and we'll talk about them the likes of Inyaki Williams and some few other players we'll also check them out in this update one ringer he has now completed his um, nationality switch to come and play for Ghana and we'll also speak a little bit about him together with some few other updates you need to know in this one as you know already this is the first update today and it's going to be the last because today we traveled a little bit and we are now back to bring you more updates so hopefully tomorrow going we also will bring you a lot of updates on this channel if you have joined me do all the good stuff like the video subscribe if you are new put us some post notifications so that i drop the latest updates you'll be the first person to get and also enjoy leave your comment in the comment box and after watching the video please share so that others will also come here and enjoy the latest on this channel no time to waste you know how i do it quickly let me begin from here let me start from abdul Mumin. yes let me start from the others before i come to the ones i mentioned abdul Mumin, he also scored a fantastic goal this month in the Spanish La Liga and that goal is also up for the goal of the month award and that is a great one for the Ghanaian player who plays in La Liga right now two top Ghanaian players in La Liga are Abdul Mumin, the Inyaki Williams yesterday I brought an update that Inyaki Williams he is also up for the um, you know player of the month with the likes of Lamy Yama Kylian Mbappe, Loten, and some few other uh, up there you know players and I brought you the link to also go there and vote for him Abdul Mumin. He scored a fantastic goal with his left foot. And I brought you all those updates on this channel. And today, his, that goal that he scored against Osasuna has also been nominated. So let's also go and vote for him. I'll leave the link in the comment box. I'll pin it down there. Please click on it and let's all vote for him. Because that goal was really fantastic. And he really deserves the goal of the month award in the Spanish La Liga. So Ghanaian players are doing well. And let's congratulate them. Now, let me take it through to today's draw. Ghana under 20. Ghana Black Satellite team. Yes, the last African Games, we won it in Ghana here. And we were all excited. Now, the next start for them is to go to Togo and play the Wafu Zombie Championship. You know, we will have the Wafu Championship itself. That will happen in South Africa. But for now, we are playing the qualifiers. And the qualifiers, we are playing it in zones. So, Ghana... We are part of the zombie so we are going to have our championship in togo and it is going to start from the 17th of october through to 31st of october in togo and i'll bring you all the updates today the draw was held and ghana we found ourselves in group a with the host nation togo um together with niger and benin so group a is togo niger ghana benin then group b we have nigeria burkina faso and Cote d'Ivoire, you know, we have only seven countries, so that is how it actually pan out. So these seven countries are going to compete. Each group will have two teams to qualify. So Togo, Niger, Ghana, Benin, we two will qualify. Let me know it then. Nigeria, Burkina Faso, and Cote d'Ivoire, that's also going to be an interesting group too. We'll have to sail through from there. Then we will see how things will go. Now, this particular one, going into the next, um, you know, Wafubi, it is going to be a tough one for us. And Coach Desmond of Affair has spoken. He said, despite winning the African Games, yes, about 9 to 10 players that he was having in the team, they've all traveled to Europe to go and seek for greener pastures or for them to also go there and begin their careers over there. So it is a big challenge for him to build a team. And I, I really understand because look at recently the way the young boys are all going. You could just see that it will definitely affect our junior national teams. And that is that. So according to him, these were the words that he has to say on his team building, how difficult it has been for him. We've lost a lot of players. Um, I think since the African Games, we've lost over 9 to 10 players that have traveled to Europe to start their career. So it was challenging to rebuild the whole team. We've got some good quality in the squad that I'm sure they can show something during the tournament. So that is what he also said. But I know the likes of a free year and some few players are there. But if you want to talk about Abdul Aziz, Ms. Bao, and some few players, they are nowhere to be found in the Ghana under 20 team. And that is it also for them. So we wish them all the best. Going forward, I'll bring you all Ghana's games, the time, everything that we will be playing. The first game we will play against. Togo on the 17th of October. 
yes first game after that then we'll play the rest of the games so i'll bring it to you so stick and stay with me for all those updates now let me move away from them and talk a little bit about chan championship of african nations yes this is also for us first we used to call it the ghana uh, blasters b but it's not the ghana black Galaxies. the locally based players their national teams that they also form they will be playing the chan and this time around three countries are going to host it kenya uganda tanzania kenya uganda tanzania so it's going to be co-hosted by these nations and qualifies is going to start from 21st and um, 25th and 27th of october 2024 after that they to continue from first to um you know 13th of november 2024 so that is how the qualifies first round will be then the second round will also begin from 20th to 22nd december and 27th to um 27th of december they also continue it from there so they will now begin the qualify so we have to wait and we'll bring you all the nations that are gonna be playing again so you could see that a lot of the national teams are going to be busier and we'll bring you all those updates now let me move away from them as well and talk about some few other updates let me talk about um inyaki williams yes this evening he was also in action for his club side athletic club de bobao yes they went away against as roma and the game ended 1-1. One, one. AS Roma 1, Bilbao 1. Duve big scored for the home side Roma. Then um, Paradis also equalized for the away side. Inyaki, he started and completed 90 minutes. Today he didn't score no assists. But after 90, he had touches of 34, completing 13 passes out of 20 attempts, which is 65%. Key pass, he sent one in the game. Crosses, he made three. None was successful. Though shots off targets were four. Dribble attempt was one, which wasn't successful. Ground was he went in for four and one, two. Area was he went in for three and one, two. Possession loss were 13, and he was rated 6.8 via so far score. He did some few other stuff. Now, NS Noam Apia, also a piece of good news from his side. He's back. And right now he's back to the starting eleven today. Olympic Lyon in a UEFA Europa League game, they also defeated Olympiacos by two goals to none. And the player started and played 81 minutes. He was rated 7.3. Tells you that NS Norma did great in the game today. And I'm so much happy for him because he's really gone through a lot after his move to Fulham actually fell through. A lot of people were talking, but now he's back and he is now back in the starting 11. 42 touches for him after 90 minutes. He completed 24 out of 26 passes, which is 92%. It's a great one for NS Norma. Key passes he sent two, crosses were five, long balls he sent one, which was accurate. Shot on target was one, short block one, dribble attempt were two, none was successful though. Ground was he went in for six, one, two and lose, um, lost um, 11 times possession and did some few other stuff for his side. Let me go to the player who is not ready to play for Ghana and it is not today, way, way from last year, yes. Since last year, January, that um, Ori Kwampofo, he is a journalist at um, Media General, he wrote a story about this player and I brought you the updates on this channel that he has now completed his nationality switch from Belgium to come and play for Ghana. I'm talking about Francis Amuzu. Francis Amuzu, he's a ringer for Anderlecht and he's been that good. He's a very good player. I'll be sharing some of his ratings and everything for you here to also see. His parents are from Ghana. He was born in Ghana here before he moved to Belgium. Despite playing for the under 17, under 21 and even earn a senior call-up, he has now switched nationality. He sent his document to FIFA and told them that he's ready to play for Ghana. That is way back in 2022. Now he's done switching nationality and he if any coach decides to invite him, he will just walk straight and come and play for Ghana. So that is also um, the piece of good news for this particular boy. He's very good. So going forward, if Ghana we want more wingers, we can actually bring in Francis Amuzu, who can come in and play for Ghana Black Stars. So that is it also on him. Have you watched him? Do you know him? What can you say about him? For me, I've watched him, but I don't really want to talk much. Some people will be like, we are hyping the players. But Amuzu is good. He's good. He's been good. And I wish that one day he will get opportunity. He is still young, around 25 years of age. So he can also come in and play for the Ghana Black Stars team. So that is it also for him. What are your thoughts? Let me know it in the comment box. Now, before I end everything, let me speak a little bit about um, you know, the next venue. Ghana, we are still waiting for CAF to come here and check out the various stadia in ghana here as yesterday i brought you an update right now they are waiting for CAF to send their officials to come and check our craft sports stadium as well as cable sports stadium so that one of them will be approved for us to use so as of now we don't know where ghana we are going to play the match so we just have to wait and i'll bring you all the updates if everything 
is confirmed now um before i take leave of you let me say a very big happy birthday going out to nana kwesi asari nana kwesi asari yes he's from my hometown i came across so today is your birthday and he is the manager of mtn are you mtn are you if you're using mtn are you you get to know that it is a very good platform for you to use so if you are not there just go there and join them he is the manager for northern sector northern sector in ghana here he's their manager so nana kwesi asari happy happy birthday going out to you enjoy your day to the fullest and i say may god bless you and may God give you a lot of money, everything that you wish for in life. So, Nana Kwesi Asari, enjoy your day to the fullest. Sorry for wishing you late in the night. You know, today I have to travel a little bit. So, that is it also for you guys. Now, let me give some few shout outs. Yes, before I take a little few shout outs going out to um, Augustus Esau. Thank you for being here. Augustus Esau. Um, I have Omari Studios. Thank you for being here. Tinkran Burkina Ken. Thank you. You're also here. The most Morris, you also on this channel. Then I have Samuel Dantin, um, you also on this channel. Gideon Akagbo is here. Eriko 2536, you also on this channel. Nyak, um, Nayak Brown, Nayak Brown, you also here. Thank you, I appreciate you. Love your Jima is also on this channel. Gideon Akagbo is here. Faisal, you also on this channel. Dacha Hine, thank you. Downson Jebro, you are also on this channel. Then Emmanuel Mengel, you are here. Fiaku Courage is here. Stefan VK, you are here. Mr. Vodi, you also on this channel. Ho Imanwat YouTube channel, you also here. Okay, Felix Infojo, you are also on this channel. Swanzi Kuje, I appreciate you. Kofi Krobia Santa Da Queen is here. New Warbeck, you also on this channel. Nathaniel Dagram, you are also here. Ezekiel Dochedo, thank you. Ofoy Bruce, you are here. Bright Andor, you are also on this channel. Then I have Isaac um, AJ Niampam. Thank you. I appreciate you a lot. Then um, Ima 8485, you are here. Apekua Ben Nego is on this channel. Amit Jani is here. Samuel um, Ajiman, you also on this channel. Imano Amani is here. Together with a lot of you guys who will be bringing your comments. Don't forget to always like the video for me. Subscribe. Put on the bell for more updates on this channel. This is Kenny TV. And of course, we shall meet later.